Okay, I totally got cut off by my card being full, so I had to delete some videos, um, past videos, like two or three videos ago, so sorry about that, but I'm still doing the Sephora haul. Like I told you, it's humongous. I bought a lot of things since I don't really buy makeup or just when I do buy stuff, I just make sure to get a whole bunch so it's worth the shipping. But um, I'm almost done, I promise. Let's move on to the eyes because that's like the most exciting thing. So um, I saw this new Ico London Skinny Brush Max Mascara and it's 8 mil, or it's 29 fluid ounces. This is what it looks like right there. I've never seen this brand before at Sephora so it's really peculiar looking. And I just thought the concept was so cute and the packaging just reminds me of kind of like bliss and benefit. Just very cute and simple and gets your message across. And it has evenly dispersed bristles um, for black color, blah blah blah, smudge. What is that? The squeeze too reminds me of um, Urban Decay's primer potion, so that means you'll really get your money's worth and like the quality will definitely, um, you can get every ounce drop of left of this mascara. So I just think this mascara is really interesting looking. Like. Look how interesting that looks like. It's just, it's crazy. Like it looks like a corkscrew and then there's like some separation of the bristles. But um, I am so excited to use this. It's really weird looking, but I'm always down for trying new mascaras. And um, actually this font looks like Topshop, actually, if you ever shop at Topshop, just like the word skinny. So, and then I just, this thing fell out of the box. It looks like a little guitar pick. I don't know what that is or what you're supposed to do with that or can someone please tell me, but I'm not about to play guitar with my mascara, so it's just really cute looking. It has the E right there and it just says Ico London, but it's really cool. Um, I like the colors. The packaging is cute, of course, so clump free. You know, what more could a girl ask for in a mascara, so I can't wait to try this. And then I've actually used, been using this for the past couple days, this Estee Lauder Definicils Mascara. And I don't know what is it about mascaras in me right now, but I'm just in the mood of trying new things and just being a reviewer. So um, if you saw my last video, you know that I was debating on whether or not to get this mascara um, because it's just a length defining brush. It's not really so much volumizing as it is like separating and just like making your lashes stand out in general and just. Um, making it longer and separated. So it says oat, oat definition and not really much to it. It's in the color deep black. So um, I know this was like really popular like a year ago when I saw like Julia Roberts in the magazine ads and her lashes look phenomenal and I know like all of the reviewers on Sephora were like um, you know, if you're debating between Hypnos and Def Definistil, you should really get Definistil because you'll see more long-lasting results with that than, um, I mean, Hypnos. So, um, so far, it's really interesting. Like, when I took off my makeup last night with a remover, um, there was, like, still, I like to leave some mascara on my lashes, you know, when I go to sleep. You know, you never know who you're going to see when you wake up. <laughs> Not really. But, um, it's just really... Like the, it held the curl of my lashes like when I was sleeping so the mascara was still on it and so far I like um, heard really good reviews on her eye dream hyperliners right there it's just kind of comparable to Urban Decay's and um, Stila's Kajal eyeliners like it's just really rich and clean creamy not creamy <laughs> and then I got it in the color Glamorous Thief and Puppeteer. So it's like a blue and a brownish. I didn't want to get your, your you know, normal black um, eyeliner because I already have black, so I don't really need that. But the packaging is adorable. Like, if you have ever got any of her stuff, it just reminds you of, like, Princess. Like, she is the definition of a princess. Like, Hello Kitty would love her. So um, I kind of want to swatch this right now because I've never even seen this up close. I guess I'll just go right there, but that is just one swipe, like right there. It's blue and it's like tealish blue. Um, I don't know. I I don't really wear color eyeliner a lot, so I feel like I owe it to myself to kind of build my color color eyeliner collection, and that is amazing. Like it's just it's jewel tone blue, and it, I could see it has a little bit of a sparkly in it, 
and you know her packaging is you know never fail really cute just like gray and pink and um so that but i don't feel like wearing black and going heavy so love that dark brown right there it looks like a marker like i'm pretty sure this will just stand all day and i almost wanted to buy all of the colors in her collection but i was like i can't because these eyeliners are actually kind of expensive um i don't remember how much they were like i want to say 15 19 dollar price range but love her it's crayon waterproof so it's gonna stand all day and it's 1.2 grams so it's a lot um, of product for your money and then also this isn't really new but um since I've seen all of everyone love this on the YouTube community and just like makeup artists in general had to get the Tarina Tarantino pure sparklicity and nude and just oh my gosh this little box is so cute like it has a little tea symbol right there and just you know again cuteness adorable and if you open it it's like a little present like who doesn't think this is so like beautiful to sit on your counter like if you have a nice mirror vanity case or table you should totally like display this because it's so cute and um it has her name on it and it's just um if you don't know what the sparklicity nude is it's just like little fine fine pixie dust like fine um like kind of like reflex glitter but more finely milled and it's so cute because if you open it it just says get ready to sparkle so really cute um i don't know if i should take this out because i don't want to i don't want the glitter to explode everywhere because it was kind of expensive but um i'll just put it back in the box so it's safe but oh my gosh it's just like a little precious gem like diamond dust like waiting for you so if you don't have like um just like glitter or um sparkly shimmer dust to put on your eyelids just you know for everyday kind of wear or also just to um overlay on like dark your dark eye looks this will totally make your eyes pop and you can also just use your um, inner tear ducts too I'm sure that'll be look amazing so I can't wait to try this one out also and then lastly for the eyes I'm actually wearing it right now is the Kat Von D um, what is this triple threat I triple threat tattoo liners and the great thing about this is um, I've heard her um, just her eyeliners in general are just really good formula, never drying. Of course, like, you know, she's the tattoo maven queen, so she has to have, like, amazing permanent liners. So I've never tried Kat Von D, but my cousin has, like, two, I think, of her palettes, and she loves the formulation of them. Like, they're all just really vibrant colors, um, as I'm sure you know she expected to be since she is a tattoo artist. So... When I saw this, like, limited edition, it was new, I was like, I had to get it. And I don't really have, I've been wanting a black foam tip eyeliner. And for the longest time, I thought I would settle on getting, um, what was it called? NYX's, the jumbo, fat jumbo marker, or whatever it's called. But, um, I know SD Castaneda, she had, she had the NYX jumbo marker forever and ever. And she loved it, but... Since I never could find it in any of my Ulta stores, I thought, why not get this? And this is an amazing bargain because it's three for the price of one, and it has different point tips. Like on the back, it has um, Poetica, Sinner, and Saint, so it, it ranges from like small to medium to very heavily bolded tip, and they're all just very different. Um, right on my eyes right now I used Poetica and it's like the chiseled tip so um, I'm sure you know it right now it doesn't look that amazing but I, with practice it'll look better um, but for my first try I think I did pretty good but um, you kind of really do need a steady hand and need to know what you're working with when you do this because with permanent like small markers like these you don't want to make a mistake because it's really hard to fix so you need to go really slow and make sure you know what you're doing um, but I just think the idea of having three different sizes is amazing and no one's ever thought of it before um, I know you know people are gonna say and give her crap for saying um, who needs three different size tips you can just you know alter it and do the same effect our eyeliner effect with one tip well I say to you is um, this makes it a lot easier on you if you do want to try different eyeliner styles or winged out tips then just you know trying to maneuver your 
your eyeliner tip in that way so it definitely just makes it you know a good variety so I can't wait to try out the other two but these are like um, 30 something I believe so with just if you didn't get the three pack it's just gonna be one for the price of like 30 bucks so this was definitely worth it so love that and then my last um, purchase from Sephora was definitely the biggest and definitely by far means the not not necessary at all but since I do like to try and dabble in the hair pull and try and do cute funky hairstyles and switch up you know my my straight edge hair um, from day to day so I try to do curly looks um, I got the new T3 voluminous hot roller set and this is super heavy like I got a huge uh, box UPS box shipping probably because of these suckers but it comes with um, eight different size barrels there's like four medium ones and four smalls it's 1.75 inch and one and a half inch and it's for shoulder length or long hair since I have shoulder length and um, I used to have long hair then this will definitely be perfect for me and how it works is it's travel like on the go so it's really easy to use if you are traveling and you want to create you know really cute and girly feminine hairstyles but you don't really, really want to bring a curling iron then you can just pack these and if you've never used rollers before they um you heat them up let them sit for you know like 5 10 20 minutes i don't really know but um, th the reason why I got these was because it comes with um, eight different butterfly butterfly clips like this right here. This is everything that it comes with. Um, and since, you know, it's really hard to find like jumbo size clips for rollers and I don't really like to try and do the whole bobby pin or makeshift clips to hold in rollers. So I thought, you know, th since it, it is a really good brand and um, these rollers are just really just infused with like I don't know heat protective ceramic heat then using the butterfly clips will definitely add to your like shine and dimension and it comes with a black travel toe detachable cord and then a charging base so um la 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 travel travel toads but yeah not much to say um I guess I could show you in real life what it looks like um but it comes with the user guide of course oh my god this is like one of my favorite smells so I'm really weird but I like the smell of the inner bindings of a new book and I know this isn't a book but I just love the new smell of pages but anyways um this is what the T3 looks like it's kind of massive and jumbo so um, I really 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 am excited to use that um, if I have any event to go to I will definitely try and use that but this um, I don't think I would recommend it because um, unless you're really serious about rolling and curling your hair every day and you want you know a simpler easy method that will definitely um, not go out of style and last you forever and ever and give you that body and wave and curl a texture you want for your hair then you should definitely get it but for the price range of it it's like a hundred dollars I know that's you're gonna you're gonna hate me for saying that but don't don't get it if you have um, a different alternative that works for you and you can use like your normal um, foamy clip-in clips roller clips but um, you know if you are you know like me and you like to do different hairstyles and looks then I think it's good but um, I was reading all the reviews and everyone was just like saying it's not worth it I returned it it's such a waste of money my hair my curls fell out well I say to you sister is either a you're not following directions B your hair won't curl or just C you haven't tried the right product to keep the curls locked in like the spraying and the hairspray like there's a certain method that you should try so um but that was about it oh my gosh this is the longest video I've ever recorded of me talking and I need to go get a drink of water because camel is all dry out of her water and super thirsty but um yeah I just wanted to get this video out of the way because I'm gonna be working all this weekend and um I just you know just wanted to share my birthday stuff and you know give you some ideas if you are going makeup shopping soon and you need a new replacement of something then definitely try these new brands out but um 